And now for something that's completely out of my taste. If it would like to start up. Yes, I get it. You gotta go check some. Okay, cool. Work. Game work. Oh, there we go. Hey, everybody, this is Impact with a new Let's Play. Let's Play Quest on Full Moon Island, a Mario ROM hack by Storm Kyle Is. Uh, it was made actually fairly recently. Well, before the Christmas holiday, and then they had their Christmas contest and stuff. So it's old now, but when I got it was like the first day it was uploaded. I'd beaten the game. 34% weird It's because there's odd amount of save points. There's more like 52 exits or something like that. We're going to be getting all the exits. This is the beginning. This is amazingly graphic for Super Nintendo. Mario being the alternate graphic Mario, his momentum has changed with the coding. So I'm just, I'm testing my controls now so I don't get screwed later. Seem to be all set up right. We, we, we got this. We got this. There will be safe stage used, not so much early on. I will save state before every course, though. Just letting you know. One day, a black pipe suddenly appeared in the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario, without thinking twice, decided to explore inside. Yeah, so this game's plot is actually pretty deep, but it, it gets deep about halfway. So... Let's start out with Toad's house, not Yoshi's house. Fuck Yoshi. It's Toad's house now. My bro's favorite character. Hi, Toad. Mario, how did you get here to this island? Twenty years have passed since the last time someone has come here. I'm glad to see a familiar face. Oh, Toad. Also, exposition. I'm not reading this box. You can read it yourself. But it's telling the truth. Since I have a mushroom, it won't give me a mushroom. So it's being a prick. I can't watch the TV either. Look how detailed everything is. I like the, um the super effects graphics that they used for this. So it's, it's a really good project. Like, if you want to go download it, go to Super Mario World Central and look for it on the list. Quest on Full Moon Island. It's level 1, Green Valley. Start. I don't need a save state for this level. And if I do, then I'm terrible. Why am I playing a Mario game? ROM hacks tend to be hard. This one gets hard near the last couple of levels. There are some gimmick levels that are pain in the ass, because Koo's not fun with the gimmicks. The thing I picked up, other than the Fire Flower, was a Sun Badge. Basically a Shine Sprite, except it's it, it's the Yoshi coin, what they re-spritted it to be. I won't collect these, I won't collect all five of these in every level. Because it's not required on the world map or anything. I will get the, like, this level's five, just for the sake of simplicity. Ah, tricky. Put him above the munchers, huh? That was a pretty cool kill I just did there. I did not expect to kill both those other Goombas while jumping on the head of that one. So I said momentum is a bit weird. Even while holding the run button, I don't go fast until X amount of time later. Those uh, vines you can actually grab on. They're the grabby vines, even though he's using them to be background objects. I know, it's, it's stunning. Like I said, the detail in this. I already explained the sun badges. I like uh, how there are blocks down there that aren't filled in because I don't have the switch yet. But I can go for this one up. I'm probably not going to because every time I run for it to grab it, I fall into the hole. It's like a trap. I'm not going to try for traps. So we have two, count them, two uh, uh, us, uh, fire flowers, one. Ooh, Tricky Dicky, the first of puzzles. That was simple. They get a lot more complex later on. As I was saying, I have two fire flowers now. One that's in use and one in my reserve. In this game, when you get hit, the reserve item doesn't drop down. You have to hit select to make it fall. So, there was a lot changed. That was pretty cool, too. I've never gotten past those Koopas like that. I didn't get any bonus tape, although I don't remember if the bonus room was altered or not. I'm going to try to show it off if I can get a over 99 bonus point things on the bonus tape. Next level, Koopa's Bridge. There is no bridge. This is land. What bridge? Oh, that bridge. This might look familiar to some people. Just saying. Of course, I was well, well more equipped last time. 
unfortunately, you don't get the... Like most ROM hacks, they try to prohibit you from getting feathers, so they're really scarce in the game. But feather is one of the most broken-ass powers ever, and as soon as I get one, I'm gonna try to keep mine for, like, ever. Unless it's an ice level where I require flyer. And this is the part where the fish start showing up and I start getting face rolled. Like that. See? No power-up drop. Just take your time, Ku. You can do this. Mario is on your side. The power of Mario, and there's a muncher there. Ugh. This spelled all kinds of bad trouble. Give me this. You think I didn't see you Goombas there? I was like five steps ahead of you. Oh, this sucks. Oh, man. Ooh, I got the fish on the way up, too, so I didn't lose anything. Alright, I'm back to my full stock. That's good. Full stock's a good thing to have. Ugh. If I wasn't so slippery, what the hell? No need for ice physics with this Mario. He, he's kind of got slippery physics from the start. Not the widget kind, the opposite kind of slippery, where it's like, once you start running, it's it's pretty hard to stop. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Is there anything behind the goal? Yes, there is. Let's go for that. Purple Koopa, he's, he, he'd give Yoshi wings if I had a Yoshi. I don't even remember if Yoshi's in this or not. Goodness, it's been a, like a long time since Koo's picked this, this game up after he beat it. I'll tell you the last boss of it, not very pleasant a fight, even with save states. It's auto-scrolling. There's my main problem. I'm not allowed to walk at my own pace. There's the bridge. Shroomy Road. Okay, this is a red dot on the map, and everyone who knows, you know, Super Mario World logic, red, red dots mean secret exits. Yellow dots mean normal, just normal exits. And Switch Palaces mean Switch Palaces, but I'm sure that that's going to be even more intuitive than, you know, the red dot, yellow dot thing. If only there was a blue and a green dot. I wonder what they would represent. I know that in the Super Mario X Bros. X engine, that the blue dot represents two, three exits, and that the green dot represents four exits. Since that, that engine is insane. But we're not playing out of that. We're playing a Mario ROM hack. This is where old school happens. This is where, you know, we be hipsters and play on a Mario that's not using an engine, but essentially just using Super Mario World itself hacked to hell through Lunar Magic. Lunar Magic's a great program if you know hexadecimal and all kinds of compiler and how to operate it. Ku never really got into it much, so sad face. We I'm flying. I got a free one up for that red shell. I was expecting to get a feather, but like I said, things are changed. That was not a hard level. Let's go look for the secret exit. I highly doubt I'll find it in, in like the remaining two minutes I have. Muncher's madness. I'm not even gonna try. Not yet. It's a muncher level. You know that right now by its name. Blue Moon Mario, huh? I love how it says that, but that's not what the ROM is at all. It's supposed to be full moon, but whatever. The emulator doesn't know the difference. Also, Geno's Forest music. Do 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 do. I'm walking in infinite paths, going on the wrong directions, killing all the bees in the forest. Oh yeah, I remember that game so much. Like, Mario RPG was a fun game made by Square Enix, man. I got everything that I could in it. I'm making a safe state here because... Science. Raukow joke. You always gotta make a Raukow joke, because that's the guy, he's the original guy who, you know, played Mario ROM hacks since Google Video and such. You have to give him props for being one of these, one of the people who monopolized playing these, and... He used to use a lot of save states and tools, and now he's gotten to the point where he's just really good at them. You should see him run. You should go check him out. This is kind of what inspired me to do this. Oh, there's nothing here? Are you serious? You would think they would hide something down here, other than, you know, that sun badge, but whatever. Okay, fine. Wait, wait. There it is. The key. 
Let's see if I can get this key. I hope I can. Alright, let's test something before I end this. Okay, I was about to say. Is he insane? Do I can't get the secret exit until I get a feather? Rush! Rush, Koo, rush! Look for the exit. You have the key in hand. Oh, right. Ah, I gotta kill myself now. Fun. So this has been Koo Impact with Let's Play Quest on Fu the Quest on Full Moon Island. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And next time, we get this damn key exit.